Naked Hanala, 26, beautiful and overwhelmed, tosses a yellow dress on a mountain of clothes on the bed. She takes a pill with wine and snorts a fat line of cocaine off a mirror. The producers I know will be gone by the time we get there. What the hell takes you so long? The real question is, what was I thinking in all those dressing rooms? She touches up her mascara puts on a Christmas hat, and sneezes, smudges. <laughs> Beverly Hills Estate. Elegant, well-behaved people mingle at a Christmas party. Industry parties, breeding ground for less than ism, lost potential. How can I carry on a conversation when I'm busy talking to myself? And why am I never hungry when the food's free? Hi. How are you doing? Why, what have you heard? Drunk Connella addresses an actress. You're not on Falcon Crest, as you claim. I know, because I watch that show and I happen to be an actress. So, I know. <laughs> Public Access TV Studio. Turns out, it was an Alcoholics Anonymous Christmas party. So, how does a nice Jewish girl from Canada become a California cokehead? It's the 60s. Kids aren't diagnosed with dyslexia, HD, AD, or PTSD. We're putting detention adult to try harder. Susan is high strung. High strung? Like high class? I suggest speech therapy for the problem she has with S. S? Is that a problem? Fair. Too much for on the TV. She doesn't try hard enough. I don't know what to think. I'll try to think the way they think on TV. Billy May, go fetch this man five thousand dollars. <laughs> Eating with the prisoners is absolutely forbidden. Now report to my office. You stare all day and night at that cocked on a screen. It could ruin your eyes and society too. I'm going to kill the TV so you can't watch your stupid shows. They're not stupid. Stay tuned for the Flying Nun right after Batman. Felix raises the hammer and towers over Lil Hala. She falls back on the couch and kicks him in the gut. On TV, Zack, pow, boy. Tell me who's right, me or this idiot? Leonard or Homer. Can make you pay the man to fix the Shut up. Nobody shuts up. Don't make me come out there. Mommy and Daddy aren't usually home at the same time. They were out working hard, so one day they can send me to therapy where I can talk about how they were never there. <laughs> My parents never take me to movies. Well, once. They said we were going to a cartoon. So I got really excited. But when we got to the theater, I found that it was a war flip called Cartoon. <laughs> Where they cut off a finger, did I feel like an idiot? Oh, man.